Inbox Zero. Oh, yeah. So I was never a Star Trek fan, but uh, I do remember one episode where there were these little creatures. I can't remember what they were called, but they multiplied like uh, exponentially. And pretty soon the whole Star Trek Enterprise was overtaken by these little creatures. And come to think of it, there's that movie Gremlins, same thing. I think every time they got wet, they would multiply. I think you see where I'm going with this. That is the same deal with email, right? It's just, uh, it just seems to multiply exponentially. And so even though you're probably coming into this training thinking, oh yeah, Jen, that sounds like a great idea, but you haven't seen my inbox. I have thousands of emails. I'll never be able to go through them all. Not only are you going to be able to end up with inbox zero shortly after you watch this training, and I really mean soon after you watch this training, but you're going to be able to do so with no regrets. Okay, so let's dive in. All right, the very thing that we're going to do, and this is based on Gmail. If you use another email provider like Hotmail or Yahoo or whatever, there will be similar steps that you will take, but this is based on Gmail. So we're going to go over here to the cogwheel. It's always about the cogwheel, you guys. Um, whenever you run into trouble, just look for the cogwheel on whatever platform. Now you're going to go to configure inbox, and you want to make sure that each of these boxes are checked. And what that does is it will organize your email into these categories, primary, social, promotions, updates, and forums. So we're going to start with forums. For me, this is always empty. So I don't know about you, but forums is usually empty for me. The next easiest one to organize is social. Why is this one easy to organize? Well, that's because, and, and by the way, this is normally pretty full for me, but I deleted everything as I recorded, I have recorded this training four times now, and I had trouble with my screen recorder. <laughs> so my inbox is pretty much clean as a whistle, but that's okay. I can still show you what you need to know. So, uh, but with social, what this, this is filled with emails that are basically alerts from your various social channels. So you're going to get these notifications on the channels themselves, not to mention the fact that this is pretty time sensitive or I should say the stuff gets stale in here pretty quickly. So if Betty Sue sent you an inbox message on LinkedIn two days ago, well, that's old news and you probably saw that over on LinkedIn anyway. So for me, anyway, I have no problem selecting all the emails that are in this folder and clicking the trash can. Bye-bye. Okay, no, no sweat there. Then... The next easiest one is promotions. However, for me and maybe for you, there are there are emails that end up in my promotion folder that I actually want to keep, I want to look at. So I don't necessarily want to just trash them all in one fell swoop. So first I'm going to go through and see, okay, what do I want to keep? Is anything in here that really shouldn't be in promotions? It should be in my primary folder. All right, so here's my friend, Diane. I don't really want her in my promo promotion folder. I want her in my primary folder, okay? So I'm going to move Diane over there. So now she'll always show up in my primary folder. This Owler update that I'm getting, this is actually marketing news that I want to keep up with. So what I'm going to do in this case is I am going to click on the email and then I'm going to click more and then click filter messages like these. And now I'm going to create a filter with this search right here. And I have a lot of options. I can have it skip the inbox altogether. I can mark it as red. I can star it. And by starring it, that'll make it more visible as important to me. I can apply a label and I'm going to do that. And the label that I'm going to choose is... Uh, actually, in my other email account, I have a label called Marketing News. Uh, and so actually, let me just go ahead and create one now. So I'm going to create a new label, and I'm going to call it Marketing News, and I'm going to click Create. Okay, so now, every time I get an email from Owler, it's going to go into the folder Marketing News. I can also forward it. 
I could delete it. I could never send it to spam. I could send a canned response to someone by checking here. Always mark it important. Never mark it as important and categorize it a certain kind of way. So it's already categorized correctly in uh, promotions, but actually I'm going to move this to updates. That seems more applicable. And now I'm going to check apply filter to matching conversations. So now all these emails from Owler are going to go into that folder as soon as I create filter. And now if we look over here on the left in our marketing news folder, we can see there's 762 emails. Going forward, this is all old news, right? I don't need to keep this stuff from 700 emails ago. So I'm going to go ahead, select all, and I'm going to trash them. But moving forward, now I can just check in on that folder and keep up with it in a more organized fashion. Now watch what's ha what happens. When I click select all, it's only going to delete what shows up on this page, which is only 50 emails. So I want to make sure over here and click select all 661 conversations in marketing news. I just did. Now I'm going to click the trash can, click OK. And now these are all gone. Okay, so now our promotions folder, uh, I've done everything that I need to do here. I've selected all the others and I'm going to trash those as well. So those are the two easiest folders to clean out right off the bat. Um, you can pretty much trash stuff without worrying. And the next one we're gonna do is a little more challenging updates. And that's because updates typically has important stuff. That's when I find out that I uh, have received a payment that someone has purchased, that I have paid for something. So invoices that have paid have been in there, invoices that are due are in there, any updates from any courses or groups that I'm in come in here. So this is an important folder for me and probably for you as well. So we're gonna do the same thing with the, this is, we're gonna look and see, we're gonna scan and see which ones we want to organize into folders and filter out, if any. And then what we're going to do is with the ones that are left and that we don't need to add filters to, we're just gonna select all, and then we're going to choose this button. And this is really the little golden nugget of this whole training, the archive button. So watch what happens. I'm gonna click archive and they're gone but they're not really gone. Because I don't know about you, but I use this little search bar as pretty much the way that I find everything. In other words, I use my email account almost like a filing cabinet. So when I need to put my hands on something, and I know there was an email that said something about basketball. I hope there's an email. Okay, so all the emails um, from basketball come up, but I just want the ones that have Danny in it. Okay, so that narrowed it down quite a bit and I was able to find this stuff. However, when you archive stuff, you'll, they're not, they're gone from your, from your site, but they're stored somewhere, but you don't need to see them. And if you need to call something up, you always can. So that's why I said earlier that you can go through this process and have no regrets after the fact. You don't have to panic that you let go of something that's really important. Furthermore, you do not need to worry about running out of space. It's practically limitless. You're not going to. You can archive and archive and archive away. Now, on that note, we're going to the hardest folder, and that is the primary folder. And I'm actually going to go into my other email account. Okay, so there's going to be emails that you know for sure you just really want to preserve. And for me, for example, that would be uh, emails from my father who's no longer uh, with us. And so I want to save his emails. So what I would do is go over here to the cogwheel, then go to settings, go to filters, scroll down, create a new filter, and then find the email address of your loved one. And so you're telling Gmail, okay, all the emails from this person, create a filter with this search, and then I'm gonna apply the label family, and I'm going to say, never send it to spam. I mean, I don't guess there's a chance it would, anything from my dad is gonna be sent to spam, there's no more email coming, but 
always mark it as important, maybe. Anything that you can do to, to maybe I'll star it and I'm going to categorize it as personal, which it already is. And now I'll click uh, create filter. Now I've already done this, so nothing's actually going to happen. I've already moved all his emails over to the family folder. Uh, but that's how you would create a filter for the important stuff. And then you could go back in and archive all the rest. The other thing I want to point out is that, so yesterday I cleaned out my promotions folder and this is what it looks like today. So it fills up really, really quickly. Now, what's so beautiful about this exercise that you're doing is that now you have an opportunity to have a fresh start to unsubscribe from stuff you don't need to be subscribed to, which is almost impossible to do when your email is clogged up with so much because it's just so soul crushing, right? You go in and maybe you... you unsubscribe for like seven or eight emails and then you're exhausted and you look at the mountain and mountain of subscriptions that you have to unsubscribe from and then you walk away from the computer disgusted or maybe maybe that's just me so now we have an opportunity to go through here and unsubscribe and keep up with it every day and it won't be so overwhelming like I don't know why I'm subscribed to this so I am going to for sure unsubscribe. You do kind of need to make a daily practice of this so so that it doesn't get away from you and it's going to feel so good when you're done with this. You're going to feel like you just lost 10 pounds at least. There's one final thing I want to show you and we also went over this in the one of the Evernote trainings. Um, but what you're able to do is send emails, certain emails have them automatically sent to your Evernote. So what you would do is go to settings, you would go to forwarding, you would add a for your Evernote address here. And the way that you find your Evernote address is you go into Evernote, click here and get account info, more account settings, and right here is your email address. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go back over to Gmail and paste that right here. All right, so now we need to confirm that. And what will happen is that confirmation email will actually show up as a note in your Evernote. So we're gonna grab the confirmation code. And I know this seems complicated, but once you do it once, you're not gonna have to do this again. Okay, and now we're gonna paste that confirmation code there, click verify, and we verified it. So now what we're going to do is go to settings, and then actually we're going to go to filter and block block blocked addresses create a new filter and maybe we'll say anything from paypal has the word i think when you get money from paypal it says uh you've got money so we're going to say money create a filter with this search forward it to and then we're going to choose our evernote address and create filter. Okay, my friend, see, inbox zero is possible. So stop this video, head on over to your e inbox and clean that baby out and enjoy the wonderful light as a feather feeling that comes with it.